Hello everyone and welcome back. This is another remodel that was requested by a subscriber. Caitlin asked that I would redo the three-story unfurnished. It's the one that when you scroll to the very end of the home section, I believe it cost SP and I agreed to definitely do that for her. Um, so far I have not done the home yet and this is going to be a challenge because when I've redone it before when I didn't do videos, of course I changed walls, but as you know with my remodel videos, I don't change walls anymore. I try to work with what is there. So with those long skinny rooms over there on the left, and oh my goodness, that kitchen is just terrible. Um, it's not real conducive to furniture placement. So I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, you know, what am I gonna do with those rooms? See how they kind of stack there on the left and they're just so long. There's not a bathroom on the second floor there as you see so I'm gonna have to work around that and then there's this weird room that just has a staircase that goes up to a corridor on the third floor on the right there you see that is basically unusable space and there actually is quite a bit of unusable space in this home so this again is going to be a challenge but I'm looking forward to it I'm glad that Caitlin asked me to do it because I always enjoy a challenge and just so you know, I do have a waiting list of people who have asked me to do remodels, so hang in there. But when we come back, you guys will see what I have done with this home. So here it is. I do believe I've made it work. I can't wait to show you the inside, and I've also placed some before and after pictures as we go through the home. And that way you can kind of see the major difference that this remodel has made for it. I was not happy with the exterior at all, so everything is totally different in this home except for the footprint slash layout. I have not changed one single wall, believe it or not. So I've added a picket fence back there. I took that big, huge brick pool area out. I just thought it was too much. Um, sometimes I do pools and sometimes I don't, but that was just too much back there. I decided to make it a family home, so I wanted the backyard to be usable and pretty so i added some landscaping back there and a sand pit and a nice patio for the family to use as you can see i've changed the roof the exterior surface i've changed all of the windows and doors and i just think it looks a whole lot better like this so as we go to the entryway you'll see the old one here um, it was just a plain entryway nothing really wrong with it in particular but with the style of home i was going to go for i did it this way I've brightened it up with the walls. I've done the gray flooring. I've added the new staircase. We have black doors and doorways, a nice black dresser with a painting and a little red flower, just as a focal point when you walk in. And as you come down those stairs, you'll see I've put a curtained window by the front door. The front door used to be where the window is, but I changed it over to that little nook area so that I could add the curtained window there for interest. And then as we go over to the left, you'll see the room before, that long skinny room, just like the one above it, that's hard to place furniture in. Well, I did it, and what I did was I broke the room up. I used the curtain windows to make it not look as oblong as it is, and then over here I put just a parlor area in the back section there, just a nice little seating area for entertaining or relaxing by the fire, and on the front part, I put just a music area, a piano, with a nice curtained window on the front. So that way it looks sort of broken up and doesn't look as crazy as it did. And then the room on the right, I assumed was a dining room because it led to the kitchen. So that's what I made it. I used the burgundy walls with the black mirror. I made it not a formal dining area. I made it very informal because it is a family home. So I furnished it with things that a typical family would have in their home, nothing too fancy. Um, I put the curtains on either sides of all the windows just to make it look like they kind of gather toward the middle. You know what I mean? Like the whole thing could be curtained. Um, but I think it's a nice look. And then coming through here, that old kitchen, I have no words for that. That's just awful. So I made it into a black and white and gray kitchen. I did an off-white for the walls. I did the older black and white homestead countertops and cabinets the nice black hood on the stove there. And I always like to have a window over the kitchen sink, so I did that. And I just made it a nice, pretty kitchen with a lot of contrast. 
So then coming through this door, remember the old bathroom, it was pink, pink, and a little more pink. Well, I made it into a laundry room and a half bath for the family. I used the subway tile on the wall. I even put a little vacuum in there. And I like how this room turned out. This is the perfect little laundry area. And then we were back here before, but I think I mentioned that I put the picket fence in. I don't think I've used it yet, but I like it back here. And I did put a nice grill area there and a swing. So that's the back. Now, coming back around, we're going to go up the stairs, and here's that upstairs corridor on the second floor that was pretty much useless and just too big. Not a lot I could do with it, so I just worked with what I had. To break up the monotony, I put curtained windows on either end, and of course the staircase went there. I've put a table just above the staircase there to break up that huge monotonous corridor along with a black mirror and a phone, just to make it a usable space. So that's how that turned out, and I did brighten up the walls as well. And then we have that left-hand room there on the second floor above that living room. Well, I didn't know what to do with it either, awkward room. So I did a huge window along the side, and I've also placed a staircase there because I took the spiral staircase out of the other side, which you'll see in a minute, and used that to pop up onto the third floor and made a little nook there for the computer. And like I said, I put the long windows on that side to sort of break up that big long space. And then we have a nice family area over here to watch TV. And that way it just doesn't look like it's such a huge long room. Now this was on the back right, just a room with a spiral staircase that led up to that useless corridor on the third floor. Well, not anymore, it's now the master suite. I've used that beautiful carpet. I think that's my favorite carpet so far. Oh, I got a notice, sorry about that. Um, and I love it, it's so beautiful. And I think it looks great with this blue new master bed that we have. I've used white furniture to go with the white trim in the room. And that new blue picture blends beautifully with it that I've put on the wall over the dresser there. So remember this front room where there's no bathroom on the second floor. I decided to try to make it into a bathroom, and that's just what I did. Since I've put the master now on the second floor, in front of it I've put a nice big master bath with shades on the windows. I've used that new bathroom um, shower and sink that I bought on the online store, and I think this really works nicely as a master bath. I love it. I love the subway tile against the gray flooring, and I love that vanity. I just think it's gorgeous turn that on there. See, I didn't even realize until yesterday that you can turn those lights on the vanity. I just thought it was decorative. So that's the second floor there. That's how it turned out. And then you pop up here. Remember, I relocated the staircase. And I'll tell you what that room is in just a minute. But first, let's get to this little room on the back here. The solid, one of the solid red rooms that you just, you know, think, what can I do with this? Well, I made it into a nursery for twins. So there you have it. It's a little nursery. It's pink and blue, so it could be for boys or girls. I haven't moved anyone in here yet, so I hadn't decided. But it's a sweet little room. I've made it with the periwinkle walls to match. And then we have the other long, ugly room there on the left. It's not as long as the two floors below it, but what I decided to do with it is to make it into a nice area for the nanny of the babies. It's a nice little area where she can have coffee, warm up bottles, there's a table there to eat at, there's a nice chair to sit in and watch TV, and it's just a nice bright room. And on the back of it, there was this tiny little room, and I decided to make it into her sleeping quarters. So this is where the nanny would sleep. She's right beside the baby's room. She just needs a bed and a TV, a dresser, and I made it a sweet little room for her where she can also come next door here and use it as a small living space. So I think that works out pretty well. She has everything she needs. And then this front room here was already a bathroom, but of course it did not go with the style that I was doing with the home. So this would be the nanny's bathroom, again with the same style with the subway tile and the gray floor. It's just a nice little bathroom there for her. And then on this section of the home over here, remember that long corridor, we ripped out the spiral staircase and there was another bathroom back there which wasn't gonna be used. 
I decided to make it attic space. I know that seems a little weird, but I didn't know what to do with the space and I thought, you know what, most homes actually have attics, so why not have an attic? We have the hot water heaters, the Christmas tree, some older items, and that's what I ended up using that space for. So this is the layout of the third floor. The layout actually didn't change, but that's the furniture placement that I did. And I think it works out a whole lot better than what they had, if you ask me. <laughs> but we have her bathroom, her quarters, we have the nursery, the attic, and the utility area back there. And then on the second floor, we now have a master suite where the spiral staircase was. We have a master bath. We have a much nicer hallway there. And we have a family room where I relocated that staircase. And then on the first floor, we have a nice entryway. We have a nice living room. We have a dining room, a kitchen, and a nice bathroom and laundry room. So Caitlin, thank you so much for challenging me to do this. I really actually enjoyed it. After I got over the initial, what am I gonna do with this house phase, I started to really get into it. And I got a style down that I liked and I'm glad I did it. And you know what? This may be a house that I keep. So thanks again, you guys, for watching. I appreciate your support. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give me a like. You guys take care and I'll see you on the next build.